So, in an earlier part of the series, part three, I said this. Notice I haven't gone all the way to the edge, so there's a decent amount of wood sitting on the log underneath, but you've got nearly a centimetre gap here. You're looking for that shape, and that should be, you can check it like this. We've got a centimetre here, a centimetre here, and there are several reasons for that. It's one of the most basic things in log building, you probably already know that. So I'll take a minute just to explain what that bowl shape is all about. So what you're looking at here are the end logs of the very first log building that I ever built. It's my garage. And the reason I'm using this as an example is it shows you kind of what not to do. Now, I said that there, there is this bowl kind of shape that you're looking for. And um, that was in, in, in a notch that I was carving. This, of course, is the lateral notch or horizontal log, notch on a log. <clears throat> but the principle is exactly the same. So, when you're carving the this lateral notch or the actual notch then you're looking for that cup shape where there's an extra centimeter of space and this is this will illustrate why you do that I've had a couple of questions from viewers who have asked how do you stop the logs cracking and the answer is you don't the logs are going to crack that's just a fact of life and what you need to understand is the place that they crack will always be the the place where the distance between the heartwood and the outside edge is the shortest that's the weakest point so it will always crack there what it means in 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 reality is that the logs will always crack at the bottom where you've where you've carved some wood out now knowing that what you have to do I wonder if I can actually illustrate this without knocking the camera over the log as it cracks there it will open up like this and the thing you need to be to, to look at is the thumbs in this instance they drop down that's these two points here and what's what you can see has happened on these is that as they drop down it pushes these edges up and these seams open which is not what you want like I said this was the first building I did not done very well so you need to make enough room in here so that as that action happens the log simply just beds down. I can show you this one actually worked better. Even though that log has opened up, there was enough room so that it could do that without lifting these edges. So that's the first reason why you need that a little bit more space in there so that as things move, you still basically got your edges. This one, even this one's still a little bit open. Those edges, these ed you want these edges touching down on the wood. You want a nice big area where the where the wood's sitting on. There. It makes it a, a really stable building. And the second reason. How do I illustrate this? I've been talking about, I introduced the reciprocating saw as a way of fine tuning. And do I have a pencil here? I do. Imagine 
that this was a fresh log that you're putting onto the building and you need to adjust you cannot get a reciprocating saw to go in here it's too much of a bend it's not going to work but if you have done your notch or your lateral groove properly so that it's just these edges that are touching down then you can put a saw in there and take a slice out and set and bed the log down easily get it to fit nice and that will still leave you plenty of room here so that as the log moves and settles it's going to bed down nicely
So I just almost, almost made a big mistake. This was the first log of the day to draw, and I went ahead and drew it. And what I'd forgotten is that that log is at a lower level than this one. So what I should be doing is drawing that one, dropping it down, seeing what the final height of that wall is, and then dropping this one down enough to match. It's actually a big difference, it's a six centimetre difference. So I'll drop that one down as little as I can, then I'll take that measurement, add six centimetres to it, and I'll drop this one so that they end up at the same place. Almost just screwed that up. 